What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Mad Max. I missed a door, so I guess that's what I missed in the previous episode. I know I probably drive you guys crazy with all these random things that I'm failing to notice, but hey. It's been a long day. Oh god. Ally Camps just gave me 60 scrap, that's pretty cool. We'll shiv punish him, there you go. That's how we shiv. That's how we shiv. Man, I'm leveling up all over the place right now. It is a good day to be me. I'm Day Lizard level 10. That doesn't necessarily sound like super awesome, but I bet that it is. Turn that back on. Bullet? You want to give me a bullet? Nope, no bullets. Unfortunately, can I break this right here? Yeah, let me break this. What did that accomplish? Doesn't look like it accomplished much. There's the pump, though. That's the thing that... That's the big guy right there that we were trying to wipe out. What's through this little crack over here? Oh, the other insignia. Let's go get that, too, so that I can 100% this place. At least I can say that I finished something. Ooh, he's got himself, like, an easy chair. Oh, never mind. Yikes. Easy chair didn't work out so great for that guy. It's definitely a not-so-easy chair for him. All right, so we got all the insignias. Let's run off in here. I feel like the leveling is organic, too. It feels like it's based on achievements. It's got a nice feel to it, and I like that. How essentially you don't really level up via XP, you level up by accomplishing like random tasks that require you to get better and better and better at the game. So there's a walkway down there, right? Okay. Let's get this thing. Oh, he's just gonna do it on his own. Never mind, run, foo! Okay, so Hollow Point Oil Camp dismantled. We did it again. We missed a scrap in there, but I'm sure it's around somewhere. And there it is right there. So threat has been lowered. Let's finish that on off. And we're down to level three now. Oh, it's, I thought there was going to be like a cutscene or something. I was like, oh, does it do it right when we hit like lower level three? Or like what happened here? So now I got to figure a way out of this place. It might actually... Oh, no, we had that scrap vehicle. I'm going to try and drive that scrap vehicle back in so we can get ourselves paid. Because there are a lot of updates and things like that that I want to put on our vehicle. And we're a little bit low on scrap. I thought that we had a lot of it. But actually, the car upgrades cost a lot. The ones for Max himself are actually fairly cheap. But the car up... Oh, that's not where I want to go. I messed up. No, don't mess... No, go back the other way. This way. Yes, there. Back through the crack in the wall. There it is. So we're back through the crack in the wall. The wall's like, oh god, it tickles in my crack. And I'm like, oh Jesus, wall, why? Why? Why do you do these things to me? Why do you make it like that? It doesn't have to be weird like that. You make it weird like that. You are a manufacturer of weird. I think we should be pretty solid on this side, though. Do I need more water? I don't need more water. We are golden, then. Let's be the hell up out of here, then. I'm gonna try and take the scrap vehicle back, because I was interested in exploring the mechanic right here, and just sort of, like, seeing what happens when we take one of these back. Oh, it's got, like, a... I like that skull on the front of it. That's hella sick. It's got a skull pole. Who doesn't love a skull pole every now and again? Not right away. Okay, so this one, it's got a little bit more pick-me-up than I expected it to have. Let's see if we can rocket our way across the wasteland real fast back over to Jeet's. In fact, I think that's Jeet's right there. It'd be awesome if Jeet manufactured sheets and also maybe meats, because then you could get, like, sheets and meat at Jeet's. <laughs> maybe some beats. Maybe some fleets. Not the Beats headphones. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Those things are terrible. How would you like to pay... Wait, is this Jeets? Yes, this is Jeets. How would you like to pay ten times too much for shit that sounds terrible? Beats headphones. We got you covered. Scrap... Oh, wow. Okay, so the scrap truck gives you a whole bunch. You get like 500 scrap out of that, Ma. Well, how many more people I gotta destroy? Because for real, we have been really going to work out here. I feel like I'm doing the lion's share of hustle here. So what does that do? The sniper rifle, we can upgrade it. 25% reduced reload time. No, I said that I wanted to... Mm. We also got... Can I get a new engine? Can I go faster? The Bantam V6. Increase the acceleration of your standard V6 by 20%. However, we lose handling. Okay. Man, you can get some, you can get some major engines up in here. So we can only have V6s for right now. Exhaust pipes, I think we already took care of. Tires, we got better tire traction. That'll make our handling really, really, really good. So that'll be sick. Yeah, let's do that because handling has been one of my big complaints about this car. Ooh, they look like real tires. Damn, son. 
Hell yeah. Can I upgrade the harpoon to make it more meaningful? It decreases the reload. That might actually be a really good upgrade because I'm constantly trying to get that thing to reload a little bit faster. The hell is a thunderpoon? Apparently later on I'm going to get to shoot so Oh, we can get a hood ornament? What hood ornament can I have? I was to understand there would be a hood ornament here that I could unlock. Huh. Apparently that's like achievement related. Whatever. What's that? Border spikes? Not a bad idea. Whole body barbs. That makes your border defense super good. It's expensive, though. Let's do it. Gotta spend money to make money. Damn, that car is looking sick right now. This car is looking like a terror coming down the road. Rumble, 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 get out the way is what my car says. Get dealt with. I'm getting all interested now. This is gonna force me to go join the Rotary Club or something so I can make Mad Max vehicles. You just be like, woo! That's actually super illegal. You're not allowed to put spikes or anything on your car. Ladies in the United States, don't do it. Like, I think for... Uh, ooh! That guy got wiped hard. Oh, no, I missed! I missed. Oh, he jumped out? Is that because it's going to blow up all on its lonesome? There we go. That'll make it blow right there if nothing else does. I don't know why that's so fun. I love doing that. It's just enjoyable. Should I get the scrap? I should get the scrap. Watch, I'm going to be like 20 scraps short on something, and I'm going to feel like an asshole because I didn't pick up that four scrap. You're like, but Splattercat, 20 doesn't equal four. And I'd be like, that is true. But if I repeatedly don't pick up things, it's probably going to cost me in the end. Woo, it is bright out here. Howdy, gents. Yup, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, they jumped out of the way. They made it. I thought my border spike said that I wasn't going to have this problem. Praise me, praise me. We are Ow! Man, they said border spikes. Uh. <laughs> Apparently, I got boarded super gnarly. I need this loot, though. Oh, they both can be looted? That's great. Maybe they'll have bullets. That'll make me happy. You got a bullet on you? Nope, no bullets. But we did get a decent amount of scrap. Let's pick out a new objective, shall we? I think that we could probably get away. We got a Wasteland Sniper over there. Well, let's continue our campaign of mayhem, shall we? I mean, I enjoy blowing stuff up. That was like the moment that I knew I fell in love with Just Cause 2 is like in the opening act where you can get on that anti-aircraft gun and blow up like half the map and everything you're blowing up is making like huge amounts of money go into your bank account. And I was like, I can tell this game and I are going to have a wonderful relationship already. It has all the things I like. It goes cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching when I blow stuff up. It does all kinds of fun things. I'm going to go down this way and we'll try and get this sniper. I'd prefer just to destroy his tower without having to waste any of my stuff. Handling does feel a lot better on the car now, by the way. Definitely feels really good. Like, I feel like I'm not spinning out on turns quite so badly, and I also feel like it adapts quicker to my button presses. I think that's basically the way that handling functions, is that it gives you a delay in between when you push the button and when the car turns, so you've actually kind of got to lean into it as though you don't have power steering or whatever. That sucks, man. My friend had a, his first car was like a 60-something Mustang, and he didn't have power steering. It was the first car he learned to drive on. And if that thing wasn't up to speed, you had to get that baby up to speed, or else it wouldn't turn very well. It definitely did not. You had to lean on it if you are sitting still. I'm small, though. Like, bigger people probably have an easier time with power steering than I do because I gotta put my weight into it, you know? I'm little. I only weigh like a buck twenty-five. What the hell? Ow! No! I do not accept this. What are these? Like, wasteland gimps? What is going on out here? Ooh, I punched that one out of the air. So are these counterable? Or, like, how's this gonna go for us? Ooh. Okay, now you got to get on him. There it is. Is he going to stay down? He looks a little stiff. Oof. Damn, it's bright out here. I'm going to stay on the ones that I knocked down because it doesn't look like they take too many more than a couple out, couple hits. I could Indiana Jones this guy and just blast him, but... Man, that jump attack gets you the first time. You're like, what is going on here? This guy out here like Ray Guerrero, just like spinning through the side. I'm sorry, Ray Mysterio. I don't know why I said Guerrero right there. I don't know. I got Guerrero on the... Ooh, eat maggots out of a dead body. Hell yeah. That's obviously hygienic. Good plan. And so do we have... Hey, there's another bullet right there. I'm glad that I saved my other one then. 
And what else do we have in here? What is that? Like, what is that harvesting? I'm not really so sure. Let's get rid of this location, and then I think I see our sniper tower right there. What? Oh shit, it's right behind us. I didn't even see that. Yeah, let's get away from that and never do that again. Where's the sniper at? He's actually got pretty good cover. Ow. I feel like this is one of those like mutually assured destruction type deals where one of us is going off this cliff and we just kind of got to decide who it's going to be. I'm going to pull out over... Oh shit, Duster. Car took a little bit of damage. Ah, he still got me. I was trying to turn up out of the way, but it didn't work so well. Ah, I took a little knock right there, too. Man, I just can't seem to get around this guy. He's got me outmaneuvered. Where's he at? There he is. If he wants to joust, let's joust, buddy. Let's joust. We got this. Ooh, did he get blown up? Oh, yeah, he did. He got sucked into the twister and killed. Hardcore, man. Definitely some random things you got to put up with out here if you want to make it. I kind of want to get out of the car, but there's a lot of hazards right now. Screw it. Let's go for it. I think it's going over the hill. Oh, nope. It's coming back. Well, it looks like it's vaguely situated around the car, but I'm not sure. Apparently, just wrenching things is what makes it all better. Pick up ratchet, rub on side of car, fix health. That's how I fix my car every day. I just take a ratchet and I just rub it on the window for a little while. I was like, nah, nah. do you feel better car? And the car's like, yeah, I feel so good right now. I feel so stimulated. Automotive stimulation, one of my skills. One of my main skills. I'm gonna back this in real fast. You know my apartment complex? You're not allowed to back into your parking spot. I have no idea why. It's like in the rules charter. Like you're not allowed to do it. Like when you sign the lease, they can actually, like, mess with you and charge you a penalty for parking your car backing in. No idea what the logic there is. I assume there's some logic, and they're not just trying to, like, harpoon people for money. I assume that there, there's some goal here that they're trying to accomplish, but... Oh, okay, so when you pick up ammo, it gives you a shiv if you're full up on ammo. Well, that explains why I wasn't able to backstock my ammo for very long. Oh, shit. Is he dead? That looked like a pretty fatal fall. I am almost 100% sure you cannot fall that far. Dude, that affected nothing. What was the point of that? Damn it. Alright, let's leave. It took me all that effort to get over here. I had to fight a guy in my car. And then it doesn't even do anything for us. What's the next target? Let's find something else to destroy. We got a scarecrow. We got a convoy. We got a minefield. I don't... So if I clear the minefield, does it automatically equip the car for me? Or do I have to go back, get the other car, the buggy or whatever, and then come back with the dog and get this done? I don't see anything indicative happening here. So I'm thinking we may want to go back to Jeets and get the other vehicle then. I'm not going to fall down that chasm over there though. Yeah! Let's get ourselves up to speed. I don't like going slow. Going slow doesn't do anything for me. Going fast. That's all I ever cared about. I want to go fast. One of those Talladega Knights things. I actually, I sympathize with her. I empathize with that. Is he? Man, he's about to have a bad day, isn't he? Ah! Ooh, that was a good one right there. Yep, gave him that lovely little kiss. Get him right there too. I wonder if I can grind. Let's go grind him real fast. Let's see if we can get up on this guy. I want to do the grinders that are on my wheels. I don't know if that hurt me or him. It hurt somebody, though. Yeah! Car Wars! Ah, get out that vehicle. Mercy blow. Mercy blow. Oh, man. Just trying to run for it now. But I got nitrous, son. Nitrous. Got that Nas. Even know. 
jump out and grab that scrap real quick because I suppose we could use it. Although at a certain point, I assume you're probably just going to want to let like your passive tick over like that 60, 70 scrap we get now. Probably going to be 500, 600 later on so that we just constantly have income coming around. What's this over here? Nothing, just like a roadblock. Used to be a scarecrow. Is there anything else around here we can wipe out before I go back to Jeets? Let's go get that scarecrow real fast. Man, that is a hollow body car right there. I guess more weight out so that you can put more stuff in it, though. I don't see too much around here that looks like I want it. Lots of empty space. But then again, you would need the empty space in order to be able to, like, drive your car around properly and make it, like, feel good to travel. We got a water and a scavenge point over there. I'll go get it on the way back. But for right now, I'd like to focus on things that actually limit his control of the area first, since that is our main thing that we're trying to do. Well, actually, we have Dead Baron's Pass. I might give that a go. I'll go check it in just a minute. We've done some free roaming stuff. It's been, like, three episodes of me just driving around destroying shit. So I figured it'll probably be okay. Swap into the harpoon. And I'm going to have to be closer. Up top. Gotcha. Now that we took that out, that should diminish it a little bit. But it looks like it's going to take a lot of work to get the rest done. So where is this dead whatever thing we're supposed to be going to? It's right there. Drive to Dead Baron Pass. Okay. Let's make for that balloon right there. And once we got that balloon covered, I'll take that up into the sky, take a look around, and see if we can handle anything. And then we'll make for Dead Barons, which might be in the next episode, or maybe like the back end of this one. I'm not really sure. Oh, these are, convoy tracks. are they? I don't really feel like messing with a convoy right now. Try and get out of that way of that sniper over there. That's a pretty good sniper, though, if he can nail you through a car window when you're doing like 120. That's a pretty solid sniper right there. I mean, if he was a military guy, I'd be like, all right. Oh, shit. I don't really think I want to mess with that that badly. Like, they've got a lot of armor and stuff. What magical mojo? Yep. That worked precisely as I wished it to. It looks like this entire area is actually sort of some sort of like federation or something, like a loose connection. Shit. We had a fight on our hands. Hold on. Cool. We're good. I don't know if it's worth it to light these guys up, but it's something I would contemplate where I weren't, were I not working on other things. Let's get to that balloon house real quick. It looks like we got a scavenge point over there too, but I feel like I've been dithering a bit too much. Let's actually accomplish something today that we're supposed to be doing. It's like it's a death race, actually. We also need to find Griffa. God, that's the other thing we need to do. When was the last time I leveled up properly? Alright, I don't know if that was the only one, so we're going to have to take this a little bit more carefully. Dude, you drive like a granny. You drive like a granny in the old folks... Like, we have an old folks part of town where I live, like, where you have to be above the age of, like, 60 to live in that part of town. And seriously, the shit you see on the highway in that area, and, like, the stuff you see, like, in those back roads, it will haunt you for the rest of your life. Old people are terrible drivers. They are the worst. Like, I firmly believe that old people are probably the most dangerous thing on the road. Like, if I had a nickel for every time some old lady with, like, those glaucoma glasses on did something dumb in traffic, I'd just be like, oh my god. You don't get on the freeway at 15 miles an hour. That's not how this works. Accelerate. Accelerate before I ram you with my car and force you to accelerate because I'm not going to die because you don't know that you don't get on the freeway at 20 miles an hour. People going by, like, parking at you like it's your fault. I'm like, I'm blocked by another car. What do you want me to do right now? Is this out of fuel or is it good? Oh, it's got fuel. Hell yeah. Let's go up. You need to destroy the wires. Oh. Huh. 
That's never happened before. Apparently, I've got new objectives. So how do I destroy these? Can I do it by hand or I have to do it in my car? I better have to do it in my car. Alright, let's jump back in here. We got this. Oh, they just want me to quick pull it. Okay, that works. Got to wait for the reload on this side. Rip that one out. And then I think there's just a third one on this side. That should be good. We have a triumvirate of ground-based wires that need to be destroyed. Off they go. No more wires. So when does all this blood on my body go away? Because I would love for it to not be on me anymore. I really just don't feel... I feel intimidating, but I feel like I could be more intimidating just with like facial expressions and maybe like facial jewelry. And then we could just have clean clothes and look hella slick in the wasteland, maybe. Also, we need something better than this flimsy ass knife that we have. Because this knife breaks after like one stab. Up we go. Alright, so we got a sniper over there. Can I zoom out, please? So there's Jeets. We got an oil pump camp over there. I figured as much since they were firing sniper rounds at me. Not actually seeing a whole lot. There's a sniper over there. Those aren't really like high value targets, though. We got a strong scarecrow. I don't know what that is right there. Like a random thing out in the middle of nowhere. There's a death run over there. That's going to be our mission target. Kind of just do like an S motion like I always do until we see stuff. It's actually looking like a pretty dead area of the map though. Oh, there's one right there. Another strong scarecrow. Another strong scarecrow. A sniper. Death runs. Oil pump camp. Scarecrow. Cool. Well, that looks just about every... I mean... We didn't get everything, but it looks like we got a lot of it, so let's go ahead and close that off. See how I did here. Oh, not too bad. I mean, we missed stuff out that way, but into the northwest, but it doesn't seem that bad. Maybe... Now, right, let's just close this down. And then we shall descend from on high. We are now a Feral Fiend, level 1. I think the final thing that I want to do in this episode is let's go find a Griffa camp. We'll destroy as much as we can on the way over there, but I need to level up. We have like a million points right now. And I feel like I could do a lot better if they were properly applied. So I'm going to treat it like my foundation and also my makeup. I got to get it applied real quick. I can't go out until I put my face on. Don't judge me. I have issues. I will go... Let's take a look at the map real quick. So Griff is right there. He's actually pretty close. He's not that far out. I'll try and get these scarecrows on the way by. We'll level up at Griffa's, and then we'll be the hell up out of here. We'll go to the next part of the mission after that, and we'll be good to go in the next episode to continue the narrative. I don't want to use my shotgun, actually. Is that a strong scarecrow? Is that a weak one? I'm going to set up like so. Oh, we need a better harpoon. Yeah, okay, so I guess our harpoon isn't good enough to get rid of that. Let's just go to the Griffa camp, then. I guess the strong ones take a little bit of work. So where's my access point over here, gents? It's weird that Griffa can manage to be at like multiple spots at the same time. Does he teleport? Are there multiple Griffas? And how did you find that many guys that look identical? I read somewhere that there's only like 21 facial types in the entire world. Like everybody is some variation and mixture of like 21 main attributes of like facial types. Isn't that a crazy Something shit? I have to do here. I think I heard that in I'm not leathery. I mean, there's just a lack of moisturizer in this world. What do you want me to do about it? I feel like you can't blame somebody for being leathery if there's nowhere for me to fix that problem. Like, if you have any aloe vera or whatever around, believe me, I would take it. I don't like feeling like I have full body psoriasis plus eight, but it is what it is. Once you had everything. Purpose. Love, family, and friends. 
they ripped it all from you. You drifted far from what you were. But you still lie inside. Dormant, waiting to rise again. No. This is what I am. Maybe not. Perhaps you fear him you carry inside. That he'll hurt you with his weakness. Enough. Very well. Let's have a peek what you've hidden within. Come out. What would be even funnier is if he's just like blowing sawdust. It's all just for effect. It's all theatrics. Just whoo. like, oh my god, I feel so much better right now. It's a placebo, mate. I would like to have more. It only takes one point to upgrade. Oh wow, I've been screwing up then. Use a token to increase Max's legend level. I'll wait till the higher levels where it gets more difficult. Essence. Yeah, let's get some more water. Intuition would be nice. And acquire more ammo. Channeling. I can stay in fury mode longer. That seems kind of nice. Consume less fuel. Acquire more scat. I'd probably do that early on in the game. I mean, it looks like we're going to fill this out pretty rapidly, though. I'm probably just going to go all in on a lot of these because we might as well. We don't really use that much fuel anyways to begin with, so I'm not really going to concern myself with it. Let's keep. I guess we'll keep the melee weapons working a little bit longer and then we'll do less fuel or something. Sounds good. Just like maxed out my character all in one go. Pretty sweet, though. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Mad Max. I will see you all later. Hi-do, everybody.